everyone, welcome back, Pop Daddy here. And today's video, we've got the Gorindon Empire Spy from the 2017 Galactic Convention uh, to look at. And I'm really, I'm actually really surprised they even did this guy, because well, as soon as I saw him, that they announced that they were going to do this guy, I knew exactly who he was straight away. Because if any Star Wars fan, then you're going to know who he is. But he's in the film, I think, for like 10 seconds, if that's all. So yeah, quite bizarre they did this, but from looking at the sculpt and from the pictures, this looks a really interesting guy to get uh, to look at. So, but yeah, so you can see him on well, the picture clearly, but you can't really see him that clearly in the box. So I think this is going to be the one that you're going to want to display out of the box if you do decide to get this guy. Yeah, so that's him on the front. You can see him on the side, hold him. Uh, see, is it a communicator? I think it's a communicator he's holding. And then on the back, you see the other guy. So you've got Zuckus, Luke, Skywalker uh, from Endor, the one, the Yoda Dagobah, and then the other Galactic Convention ones, so Princess Leia Hoth, uh, Luke Skywalker, Hooded, and then the Grindon one, obviously this one, Empire Spy. And then on the side, that's what that looks like. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I've not even out the box yet, so let's have a look, see what it looks like. I'm interested to see because he looks like he's got quite a big head and as all the Star Wars pops they have to be bobble heads. Is his head gonna be is he gonna be top head of you or not? I don't know. That's loose. There we go. So yeah, so that's him on his Star Wars base. Okay, let's have a look. Looking pr whoa, okay, he's looking pretty mean this guy. Let's get him off the base first, see what he stands like. Oh he stands perfectly fine. He does, yeah, there's there's no problem there. So yeah, so there's a lot of detail on this one. I really like the goggles with the green and the gold around there. That's nice. There's no paint defects there. Uh, his big snout thing, whatever it is, coming forward. See it bending forward. That looks really cool. Uh, and yeah, so he's got a hood and a cloak on. This is wet. What's all that about? I don't know. Rubs off. So yeah, you can see all going around there. I don't know what that is, some bits of sh bit wet schmutz or something. And then there's the cloak down the back, looks pretty cool. See, nice gloss gloves, gloss black boots, no paint problems there, and a nice green for his coat. And the belt with the silver buckle looks good. And then, yeah, there's him holding. It looks like he's pressing something. I, need to, I don't know if I need to see it again, but I thought it was a community. Yeah, it must be a communicator. Oh, look, yeah, I remember that from the film. So the little grate under there. With his weird, uh, whatever he is, his language that he talks into it to uh, let the Empire know that Han and Luke and that lot are there, ready to escape. But yes, that's the Grinner guy. He looks pretty cool. I do. I really recommend this one because it's it's an obscure one to have. It's not your run of your meal normal Star Wars ones. It's not, but it's an interesting guy. I really, yeah, and I'm really glad that I picked this one up. Yeah, if you if you was thinking about getting this one, yeah, I recommend it. Put him back on his base. Okay, yes, that's the Grin, the Grindin Empire Spy. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, so that's him from the Galactic Convention range. It's pretty cool. Okay, guys, if you like that one, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, bye. 